All right, so we're back and everything is unloaded. Let's take a look at what our halls look like. Oh yeah, just, this fuel box is basically full now. We've got so much biofuel and water is really killing us. I have to make a box for that alone, I think. Um, but if we look at salvage two, there's a lot of stuff we came back with here that I don't have a place for just yet. Um, a lot of this was the meds that we had. Look at the Xeno blocks. Salvage one is full almost from just titanium plates. That's from melting down um, the ship, the big ship. But our crafting components is pushing up there too because we've just got a ton of stuff that have come back from all these missions. Raw, not too bad. We're doing all right with raw. Um, blocks, these Xeno blocks are... I don't know if we need these. I still haven't figured out what the use of them is other than... I mean, their mass... Let's see. Let's look at their volume, placement, airtight, radioactivity. Hmm. There's there's some way to look at, like, the, the hit points of one of these. So let's, let's do this real quick. I'm going to connect to this, to the block. Sometimes you got to do it a couple of times when it's being funky. Like, go out and go back in. I'm going to take one of these, and I'm going to put it down next to one of these, and I'm going to put it down next to one of these, and there's a there's a combat block too, but I don't know. We'll look at these three to start with, okay? So this is just a steel block. This is uh, the hardened steel block, and then this is the xeno block, okay? And if we look at with our multi-tool this guy has 500 hit points this guy has a thousand hit points and this guy has 2750 hit points so one thing about these is they are they are definitely hardcore um, in their uh, in how much damage they can take so you could use these and just paint them for for you know like good armor on a ship or something like that because that, that would take a lot of hits before it would blow up the only catch being it's friggin heavy as hell right so let's set this to retrieve these blocks and if we look again at that ass side of from things like these are 2.6 T and I'm not sure if that's for the entire stack or what the deal is. Two, that might be for the entire stack. Um, we might just go like this. And we can look at them that way. That's actually concrete. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted a hardened steel and a regular steel. And we look at the mass on that. That's one with a volume of eight. That's 2.6 with a volume of 80. Sorry, they were both volume 80. And then that's two with a volume of 80 so this one's definitely way heavier mass wise it's it's huge but you know worth having if you're trying to build a, a, a serious battle vehicle you know why not um i think i had some more still in the yeah well this is almost exceeded that's why i didn't put them all in here so i'm gonna have to redo storage again obviously a little bit to try and you know make more room the other thing we need to do pretty soon is we need to build out um where is it on this side? Nope, not that side, this side over here. We need to build out uh, living quarters. And then we can put like all of our, you know, armor lockers and all of that kind of stuff. Because this guy right here, you can see he's he's full up. We got a lot of armor from different missions. And I would like to have like a light armor locker, a medium and a heavy. And then we could have a separate place to store uh, the multi boosts and whatnot. Um, but I need to t spend some time building that, and since I've decided I'm not going to do the building on camera because I don't I don't find it particularly fun to watch necessarily. Um, speaking of which, I do have the footage, and I have it cut down to a 30 minute video for when I built the garage. But I just not, I'm not sure what to do for background music on that. Um, let me know what you guys think if you even want to see the footage for that, or if you're just happy seeing the final product. Um, because I'll, I'll figure something out. We'll, we'll, maybe I'll just put like three or four different songs on there. And that way there's some background music while I'm building this whole thing. Um, I mean, it's not super exciting. It's more or less a box that I built. This ramp was the, the most interesting part, building the ramp up from the ground, up through the water, and to come out here. 
I mean, that was... That was probably the most interesting part of that video. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think. I'll, I'll put that video up in the build uh, playlist if you want to see it. Um, and then also what you think about when I build the, the living quarters on the other side, if that's something you want to see. That said, we got to figure out what the heck we're doing today. Um, I've got all kinds of options. We can go on with the story, or we can go do some trading, or we can go attack some Xerox ourselves. Um, it may be time for us to build a sleek fighter vessel that can just blow up towers. That might be a thing that we need to do. I'm kind of curious about something real quick I want to see. Somebody asked me about pilot mode and I never really figured out what it was so I looked it up for them and looked at it. And uh, I'll show you what pilot mode does here. If we go out here, so right now I'm turning, right? And the more I turn, I have to keep moving the mouse. And so I get to a certain point, I pick it up, and I have to keep moving it. I pick it up, and I have to keep moving it, and so on and so forth. So pilot mode, we're going to turn on pilot mode. Now with pilot mode, you see you have this reticle. And if you move it, the ship continuously turns. And the more you move it off center, the more it turns, right? So you can just, I'm not even picking the mouse up, I've just got it off center. So if you want it to level out, you go back to center. So this is kind of weird. I don't know how we would control this, but this would definitely give you the ability. I wonder how it shoots. Your weapons are retracted. Did I retract my weapons? And you can still level out with the O button. Um, did I retract the weapons? When did I retract the weapons? Turrets and weapons. Interesting. Okay. I think it is shooting where these are. I think that might be a thing. I mean, you still need, you know, your... What is this, yaw? I don't know. Roll. I wonder if this is shooting... Yeah, it looks like it's shooting where that is. It'd be hard to hit, if you ask me. But yeah, that's what that's what pilot mode is. So if you like flying like that, I mean, maybe, maybe you you have more you have more luck with it than I do. I don't know. Maybe it's some some flight that you guys like, but that's how you do it. It probably takes some getting used to. The roll is always the problem for me because I always end up like rolled off to the side and not straight up and down with the ground. You know what I mean? Like, the more I do this, the more weird it gets, it looks like. So maybe we'll go find find something on the ground to shoot and see how, how that works. It's not too bad, I guess. I would have to adjust my keys, I think. Oh, hey, look. Silicon meteorite. Let's check this out, guys. So, silicon meteorites, I've talked about these. So obviously we've used all the mil the silicon on the planet because the game thought we needed another silicon on our on our uh, planet. So it sent us this meteorite. And they're basically just big blobs of, of whatever they are. So this is just silicon. And basically you just do this thing and it will shrink up. It'll get smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappears. Let's uh, make sure we're connected to the cargo container here. And then you can just drill drill to your heart's content, basically. Until you get all you need. I don't know how much is in one of these. But I don't even think you need to do anything but stand here and drill into the center of it, basically. And a lot of times you won't see anything happen, but it's just it's shrinking slowly. And as it shrinks, it'll give you more. Anytime now. Unless they've changed it. And maybe you do have to drill around. So maybe it's like a chase game. It seems like that's working quicker. But yeah, you get the point. Basically, you just sit here and drill until you get all the silicon you need. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the moon. We're going to keep chasing the story for now. Um, we will eventually pacify this planet. When it wants us to leave our own solar system, I'll stop and do what needs to be done in this solar system before that. But there will come a point where that will happen. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those railguns that we found to 
the ship, I think, if we can make that. We'll see. Uh, let's look and see if we can make railgun rounds. Well, first let's make sure that those were actually small vessel railguns. Ah. Too many buttons in this game. Alright, so if we go to blocks, that's a laser drill, that's a railgun, so we had a railgun. That is if we can make uh, rail rounds. Let's see what it takes to make rail gun rounds. Rail. There they are. Cobalt and Sathium. Okay, so I think we have that. I think we can make that. And we get 10 each. So let's go with 50. Let's see what we get. Bam. All right, we'll let that do its thing. And while it's doing that, let's put the rail gun on the ship. So give me connection to the blocks box blocks um, connect to him because you know there let's hit f5 that's f4 and let's see where would we put this probably just up the top right I imagine or on the bottom look awful silly up there I was, was hoping to put it on a wing I would think that would look awesome but we don't have what we need for the, the second one um, so for now, we'll just put it on the top. We'll cover these guys. It's okay. Oh, wait, we had... No, wait, we had six of these. We had seven of these. Oh, I just realized that. We found seven of these. Holy crap. Okay, never mind. Um, give me back that one. You come to me. Let's retrieve you. Snap. We can make a bunch of these, actually. All right, let's do it. Um, we're gonna put you here, and you make sure you're lined up right with that back fold there, and then we'll do one here and one here. There, yes. So now we got four rail guns on this beast. Beast mode. All right, let's disconnect from this guy hopefully we've got what we the room that we need for honestly I would like to make those a little better because they're hovering over the wings now that I look at it not a fan of that but you know what we could we can live with it for the moment these at least look like they're attached here that one's in the wrong place come well that one's in the right place this one's in the wrong place let's take him off real quick retrieve blocks let's we gotta make sure we're connected again because if we're not connected um, it will go into my inventory and then probably drop on the ground. So let's retrieve him. Yep, bop, beep, bop, boop, beep, bop. All right, and then we go you. Come back to me. Come to butthead. Then we do T. Put it here. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Good with that. Now we just need to paint it. Disconnect from you, and I need to find in my probably gearbox. Look, look at look how many guns we have. We're gonna have to do a, a deconstructor soon to start melting stuff. I keep saying that, but we really need to do it. All right, and then let's paint these. Let's start with black. Let's see how they look. Those look okay. Black. You know what? These need to be red then to offset it like that. Yeah, buddy. How about that? How about that? All right. Now let's connect to our C Lab output and let's connect to our small vessel uh, ammo container. Let's see how much of this he can hold. Okay, he can hold it. All right, we're going to make another 100 rounds just because we can. Because we've got four of these, so probably want to do it in multiples of four, honestly. So let me grab a few more of these rounds, and uh, we're going to go to the moon. See you in a bit. So I almost made a mistake, guys. I almost let the ship... If I just started the ship after putting those rail guns on there, the CPU usage is way over. I would have blown up my core. Let's go ahead and do this then. We're going to take two of the railguns off the ship. For now. 
we'll take these two top rail guns off the ship. And then that way it gets down below. I imagine that'll put it back down below the allowable limit. And then we may have to get some other stuff before we can extend the CPU on this guy. And we should be okay. Let's look at him now. CPU. Alright, he's back under, so we should be fine. Two rail guns is all we get for now. Um, trying to do too much on this one on this one ship, I think. Alright, attack says now, so we can totally trigger him by doing this. Triggered. Alright, let's go get our ship. Where's the ship? Ship is over there. Hurry up. Get to the ship. Get to the choppa. Alright, let's see how this do goes with with pilot mode on. Let's reload the railgun. We'll give this a test. Coming from the east. East. Where are you? Ah, there they are. Alright, railguns. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh, lining that up is hard. What the hell just happened? Did they just fall through? Alright, that's... no. I can't do that. Can't do that. That's too hard. What about these? Can we lock these on? You did not lock on. Oop. One dead. Oop. Nope. Dodge. Dodge. Too hard. Okay, yeah, this is too hard. Let's get a little distance over here and turn that off real quick. Cannot do it that way. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, where'd he go? Let's try the railguns again, shall we? Oh, he's dead. They got him. The cannons got him. So yeah, no, I can't... I can't fight like that. This, the control is too wacky. For me, but if you like it, go for it. All right, here we are. The wreckage, the size of the Titan, should be easy to find. So we've already been around this moon. Let's do a scan. We've already know where all this stuff is. Um, there is a mini gun drone by that silicon, which is where. Which way was it? Is it there? Yeah, okay. I just want to... I want to give him the old... Railgun action real quick. Dang it. Oh, no, that's a... That's not what we need to do. That's an installation. Move away. Going in the wrong direction. We're in the Xerox Empire area. Serpentine, serpentine. There he is, right there. Alright, that's what I wanted. That dude right there. Yeah! <laughs> Love it. What's that? What are you? There it is. There's the Titan. Hopefully we're not within range of any of these others. Any scanning results? Not yet. Should make a flyby in all three parts for a better scan. Alright, so there's the front. Now we gotta do the middle and the back. There's the middle. Hopefully it's not too close to a facility. Hundred and fifty meters should be good enough. Okay. There's the middle, where's the rear? So if you look, we are in their territory. Of course the rear is gonna be deep in their territory. Look, there's titanium though. Oh god, the rear is 
getting me way too close to those facilities for how much I like that. Alright, we're gonna stay low so maybe their cannons can't target us. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Come on. Get a little bit closer. Don't be shy. This returned perfect results. Now you should go to the front part and land nearby. I've marked an easy target point. Okay. Let's get out of this area. The front. Let's go over here. Entry point. Alright, so we're going to put our ship down. Ooh, no. No, no, no. Um, back here, and maybe use the Titan as a way to block it from being targeted by drones when they surely come up, because you know that's going to happen. Land you there. Actually, let's get you a little closer, because then I, I, need, I need the remote access. good. Look at our map. Looking for any drone activity. I don't see any. A way in. Well, there's a way in right here too, so. Get up here anyways. Machine guns at the ready. Make sure everything's loaded. Plasma cannon will be for any approaching uh, drones. Close combat. This is giving me goosebumps. You. I'm afraid we can't expect the Xerox to have left anything for us to find. There are some secret technical details of the construction they might not have found. Secrets, you say? Is there possibly more you can tell me? Commander, I do not. There is. Please wait. A signal is activated. A... IDA? IDA, status! Wave protocol black. Find override code console. Find code console. Where? IDA. Integrated data assistant remote access detected. Oh no. Emergency shutdown. Great. Finding a code in a maintenance console in a wreckage after more than a year of the enemy tearing it apart first. The whole expedition is absolutely doomed. is cool looking. I like the way they did this. Alright, so we have to find something, some remote access console or something. You're entering, no, I am in Xerox territory, thank you. You're entering Xerox territory. Keep an eye out for drones. Like I said, they'll sneak up on you and then they'll blow your ship up while you're inside some wreckage of what used to be your spaceship. Ooh, what's that? That's a console. Let's go up there. There's another insulation boost. There's more armor. Armor locker. Hey, look. Look what we found. Alright, before we do this... You know what? We're just going to do the story. I'm going to build a vehicle, I think. A salvage vehicle that we're going to send out. That whole purpose is to come salvage these things apart. Maintenance access point. Out of order. Reactivate. Activation failure. 
Activation lockdown protocol mode wave rider. Enter my credentials. Access granted. Level black. Welcome, Commander. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services are limited while this ship is under enemy control. Please make your choice. Get the latest status report. All status reports have been erased by information not available. Note. There is a file tag personally for you. Signature. M. Play the file. Play file. File blah blah blah. Classified Admiral rank. Secret communication protocol blah blah blah. Decoded person black black. Welcome sir. Please authenticate. Black black Hyperion 24 Setting private mode. Welcome back Commander Mercer. Hello IDA. How are you today? I am fine Commander. So this is the day? Yes. This will also be our last conversation I'm afraid. Sad to hear this, sir. Starting UCH Protocol Alpha. Your order, sir. Please list Operation Phoenix main vessel location and status. Repairing list. MS Titan, command ship, Apollo Station, final warp preparations. MS Grand, second command ship, Apollo Apollo Station, final warp preparations. Facility, Corvette, Earth Moon Orbit, waiting for flight team. Baron, Corvette, Marine Base 1, waiting for ammo and personnel. Roswell, Science Class, Apollo Station, waiting for equipment. Diligent, Transport, Dock to MS Titan, unloading supplies. Merm, Transport, Dock to MS Titan, unloading supplies. Heidelberg, Transport, heading for Apollo Station. York, Transport, heading for Apollo Station. Do you also wish to review the status of the support craft and armed forces? No thanks. Please list the current location and permission status of the MS Titan crew, command crew. Searching USH Locator Database. Admiral Ronald T. Yaden Fleet Admiral located MS Titan cab cabin. Permission rank black. Vice Admiral Jeremy Benner, Captain MS Titan, location blah blah blah. Permission black red permission rank red. So basically it's just reading all of like where all the ships were and where all the people were. This is a lot of information you don't want bad guys to get their hands on right here. I can tell you that. This is this is really like the entire military information. Please issue the prepared relocation request. Lieutenant Commander shall report to MS Titan tomorrow at 8. Red Specs Gaming shall report to MS Titan tomorrow at 1600. Relocation request has been scheduled. IDA, is the Operation Phoenix preparation on track and meeting its target timelines? Yes, all vessels will be ready for departure as planned. Any new information on the listening posts? No, sir. The tracking of the event has not shown any deviation from the preceded timing. Sir? Are there any problems? No, IDA. Everything is fine. Just thinking about the consequences. Do you wish to proceed? We have no other choice, IDA. That's correct, sir. Okay, IDA. Time has come. I know, sir. I am quite... Excited? Good to know, IDA. Please start the childhood program. Childhood program initiated. Decryption in progress. Core entity duplicated. Core entity transferred. Accessing personal equipment. Reintegrating core entity. Personnel command codes permission status upgrade black. Ooh, what's this? Reactivation codes are set. The IDA child entity has been successfully installed to commander... Red Specs Gaming Equipment. What? Childhood program completed. Sir, Docking Bay 2 has your signaled your shuttle has just arrived. Thanks, IDA. Sir? IDA? Do you really need to go on this journey? I'm afraid I need to be on the Titan when they leave. That's sad to hear, Commander. No worries, IDA. I will be fine. I'm sure you will be. One last thing to do. IDA, please send the Wave Rider protocol. Code, Black Wave Black. Wave Rider protocol has been sent. Orders have been issued to all vessels and stations. Override codes have been accepted. Thanks, IDA. Let's hope the console's trust in Commander Lamar and Commander Red Specs Gaming is justified.
for whatever reason, they've been chosen by the council without telling them. Dun, dun, dun. Godspeed to both of you. The fate of the two galaxies seems to be in your hands from now on. IDA, it's about time. Please start the countdown. Wave Rider protocol has been activated. Countdown started. Time left until the event. 23 hours, 32 minutes, and 15 seconds. Sir, I wish you all the best. Thanks, IDA. Farewell and goodbye. Goodbye, IDA. Starting countdown. 23, 32, 7, and so on. End of file. Ooh, find out about M. Information classified. Ask about crewman M on the USA UCH Heidelberg. Searching crew database. There's only one crewman with that surname. John Edwin Mercer, Jr. Second commander of the USH Heidelberg. Status unknown. His father was... Information classified. Ask about his father. Information classified. Access level black black required. Back to main menu. Of course I need food. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services, please make your choice. Um, find out information. Code black confidential information for your eyes only. To generate override codes to access the fail-safe data cache, three frat code fragments need to be assembled. The fragments are hidden in three consoles. They need to be assembled on the main command console on the bridge. The location must remain unknown to any and all persons below access level black at all costs. Please enter credentials again to start recovery. Enter credentials again. Authorization approved. Recovery main key generated. Recovery information. Find all three randomly pre prepared consoles. They are spread over the front, middle, and back part of the ship. Each console will automatically update its code fragment when the recovery main key is positioned within two meters of the console. Good luck. Dun, dun, dun. So of course the codes distributed over Titan, one in each wreckage, no doubt. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna run all this stuff home real quick, guys. As soon as I get to my ship. I wanna get everything home, and then we'll come back so we've got a fresh container. And we'll figure out where this damn console is. So I'll catch you guys when we get back.